Today we're going to talk about cell differentiation and the goal of this video is to explain how different types of cells are formed from stem cells. When a cell divides by mitosis, it produces two genetically identical cells. But multicellular organisms are made up of many different types of cells. That's what you can see in the video. We're made up of red blood cells, white blood cells, nerve cells, um, sperm cells, bone cells. You, the list goes on. There are lots of different types of cells. So here's the question. How can cells be genetically identical? All of the cells in this picture have exactly identical DNA, and yet they're structurally and functionally different. How can that be? Well, this is possible through cell differentiation. Cell differentiation is the process by which an unspecialized cell, which is a stem cell, divides many times, and certain genes in the cells produced are turned on or off in a particular sequence, producing specialized cells. Once the developmental pathway of a cell is determined, it can't alter its path and change into another cell type. So here we've got a zygote, and you can see it's going to divide and produce these stem cells, and those stem cells are going to divide, and after about 50 more divisions, they will have a specific structure and a specific function. There'll be a specialized cell at that point. And this leads to um, a kind of categorization of uh, the kinds of potential that a cell has. We call this the potency of a cell. So a cell that can differentiate into all cell types within a body is called totipotent. It has total potential. It has the potential to become any cell type within the body. An example of a cell in the body that uh, is totipotent is an embryonic cell. So uh, when you take a newly formed zygote, so a sperm and egg cell just came together, formed a zygote, um, that cell up to about the first four divisions of it. So when it divides and then it divides again and again and again, up to about the first four divisions, it's going to be considered totipotent. It can become any cell type. But beyond that point, um, for the next several divisions, you're going to produce pluripotent cells. These are cells that can differentiate into many, but not all cell types within the body. And this would include adult stem cells. Adult stem cells are considered pluripotent. Now beyond that point, so as those cells continue to divide, you'll produce multipotent cells. So for example, here is bone marrow. Inside the bone marrow, you have stem cells, but these are multipotent. They can become, uh, they can differentiate into a number of closely related cell types. So these are gonna be cells specific to bone and blood um, in this picture. And then a cell that can't differentiate into other cell types, but is capable of self-renewing, making more of itself basically, is called unipotent. So for example, look at this red blood cell here. This red blood cell is unipotent. It can only produce more red blood cells. It's not gonna be able to produce, um, say, lymphocytes. It is unipotent in that sense. Okay. Let's finish up by talking about the usefulness of stem cells in medicine. So stem cells can be used to replace damaged or diseased cells. And here's a couple of examples of applications. Um, this stem cells could be used to uh, help treat Parkinson's disease and also burn victims. So in the case of Parkinson's disease, there are um, cells within your brain that produce dopamine and that uh, that dopamine is used for signaling throughout the body basically uh, to help give you control over the body and uh, if those cells become damaged they don't automatically get replaced but by using stem cells you can uh, potentially replace those cells and uh, potentially cure Parkinson's disease Another example with burn victims, so these would be damaged cells uh, due to severe burn, and you could use stem cells to help replace uh, large areas of the body where you've been severely burned, uh, such that there wouldn't be a lot of like scar tissue or something like that. You could replace those cells. 
Now, here's the uh, controversial bit. Um, embryonic cells are totipotent, so they have a lot of potential to cure a lot of, or treat a lot of diseases and disorders. Um, but the use of embryonic stem cells is controversial because it requires the destruction of the embryo and uh, the destruction of the embryo um, is controversial because this, this topic is related to abortion. Uh, if a pregnancy is terminated, what do you do with the, uh, the embryo? And is it permissible to use those embryonic stem cells to treat various disorders and diseases? So that's the controversial bit. And that gives you a sense of how the body produces lots of different types of cells through cell differentiation and how stem cells might be used in uh, medical treatment.